In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Hello everyone. As we gather here to this day to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us gather together in God's love. We offer our Mass today for Mary Simmons, whose anniversary occurs at this time, and we keep Mike and his family and Mary very much in our prayers. We also offer our Mass today for Bailey Mae Morris, uh, one of our Year 5 going into Year 6 pupils um, from St John's Catholic Primary School, who is having a very serious operation today in the Children's Hospital in Bristol. Bailey, our prayers are with you as are the prayers of the Year 6 class and staff and pupils um, at St John's at this time and your own classmates in Year 5. Keep safe, be strong and come back soon. Let us remember that all of us are held in the hands of God, though sometimes we forget that God is our life. Lord Jesus, you are Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead us to the Father, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of God, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, strengthen those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. The prophet Elijah arose like a fire, his word flaring like a torch. It was he who brought famine on them and who decimated them in his zeal. By the word of the Lord he shut up the heavens. He also three times brought down fire. How glorious you were in your miracles, Elijah. Has anyone reason to boast as you have? Rousing their corpse from the earth, from shale by the word of the Most High, dragging kings down to destruction and high dignitaries from their beds, hearing reproof on Sinai and decrees of punishment on Horeb, anointing kings as avengers and prophets to succeed you, taken up in the whirlwind of fire in a chariot with fiery horses, designated in the prophecies of doom, to allay God's wrath before the fury breaks, to turn the hearts of fathers towards their children, and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Happy shall they be who see you, and those who have fallen asleep in love, for we too will have life. Elijah was shrouded in the whirlwind, and Elisha was filled with his spirit. Throughout his life, no ruler could shake him, and no one could subdue him. No task was too hard for him, and even in death his body prophesied. In his lifetime he performed wonders, and in death his works were marvellous. The Word of the Lord. Rejoice you just in the Lord. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. The many coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne justice and right. 
The fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods, or you spirits, worship him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, In your prayers do not babble, as the pagans do. For they think that by using many words, they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. So you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be held holy. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are in debt to us and do not put us to the test but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of the Lord. In times of trouble, in times of despair, when things come into our lives that challenge us and cause us fear, what do we often do? We turn to God. And often we turn to prayer, especially the Our Father. It's probably the first prayer that we ever learned. It is probably the prayer that we say most together in common because it is a prayer of hope. It is a prayer of knowing that God is our Father and he gives us always his daily bread. Jesus teaches his disciples that prayer in this morning's Gospel and I'm sure that they had no idea at that time that that prayer would become the cornerstone of our faith, the cornerstone of our liturgy, and the cornerstone that will hold us up in times of trouble, in times of fear. A lovely prayer, a prayer that roots us in Christ, for he taught it to us, and a prayer that roots us in the kingdom of God, that we pray always may come. And so let us turn to the Lord with our prayers this day. We pray for the church throughout our world. A church in prayer, pleading to God the Father 
that his kingdom may come. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for our world and its many needs. We continuously pray for peace and reconciliation amongst the nations. And we pray for an end of all suffering and pain. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for ourselves in our journeys of faith, that when we pray together the Our Father, we may pray for unity and care and peace in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, We pray for those who are sick. We pray especially today for Bailey and her family, that God may bless them at this time, and that Bailey may come home soon into their loving care. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. For Mary Simmons, we pray that her husband Mike may be given comfort this day. We also pray for Terry Baker, whose funeral will take place today in Trowbridge Cemetery. For all families who grieve and mourn at this time. Lord, in your mercy, And let us ask for the intercession of Mary, Queen of Heaven, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered freely into his, willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Mary Simmons, for whom we offer this Mass, Terry Baker, whose funeral will take place today, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, Saint Bernadette, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. As we were instructed to do by Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray together to God, our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. At this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, as it foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I ask you to keep in your prayers today, Bailey, who is undergoing that operation. I know that many members of our school of St. John's will be watching this Mass today and keeping Bailey very much in our prayers. We keep Terry Baker, whose funeral rites will take place in Trowbridge Cemetery um, later today, and his family um, always. And of course, Mike Simmons, whose uh, wife Mary um, this anniversary occurs at this time. Hope you're all keeping well and safe and on this, what they would often call a grand soft day in Ireland, where it's raining slightly but quite mild. Um, keep well and safe. There are um, alleluias ringing and bells bonging in Taunton today. That's because Monsignor Bernard Massey beat me at golf yesterday but I may be able to get my own back next week. Not that it, um, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about losing, of course, no, not me, never, no. Have a good day everyone. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.